Hello everyone, I'm Alexandre Gauthier from Tircode Drone based in Switzerland and today I'm gonna talk about GeoDNet. But first, you need to know that the GeoDNet encrypts information is an early access so in the near future you're gonna be able to connect via a subscription but right now um, when I'm making this video you need to have an antenna and ask for the entrip information to connect with your drone. First you're going to need to check that your antenna is connect to internet and the GNSS so there is three LEDs on the modules power GNSS it needs to blink one time every second and your green light it's the Wi-Fi connection so the entry information are sent to the server after checking that your GeoDNet module is connected to internet you are going to contact GeoDNet team to have the entry information that you need to connect with your drone to the server. So today I'm going to show you the process with my Mavic 3 thermal. So it's the Mavic 3 Enterprise series. And you got the RTK modules on it so it can connect to RTK. So after starting up your drone, your remote controller, you need to check that your remote controller is connected to internet. And after that, you are going in your RTK settings and with the entry information the GeoDNet team give you you fill all the information needed so the entry host, the port, user, password and your mount point after you have filled all this information tap save and you can see that your drone is connect to RTK. After that you need to check your accuracy and right now we have really good accuracy 1.3 cm and 0.8 cm on X and Y axis and on the Z axis the, for the altitudes I got 1.7 cm. It's really accurate. So that's it for today. You have got all the information to connect your RTK drones to the GeoDNet systems. I hope this video helped you. I wish you a great day. Bye.